Down to 21 as we continue to highlight the importance of mental health awareness this month. We recognize a Fort Worth faith based organization that is committed to enhancing the lives of those living with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And I had an opportunity to sit down with Lashika Mayberry, who runs Family of Faith Service Providers here in Fort Worth. Well, thank you for coming in yes. early uh, here and, and telling us about this. Tell us about this Absolutely. organization and why it's so important. Good you morning, Evan, and thank you for having me. Yes. I think it's important uh, for those within our community to understand we are serving those who do have intellectual and developmental disabilities. The name of the program is HCS. It is a Medicaid-funded program by Health and Human Services mm -hmm. Commission is with, in which we contract with. And so I think the most important piece is to understand that those that we serve within our community need to have the opportunity to be able to reach their greatest potential and their goals. And so within this particular organization, that is what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Every day we are uh, looking upon them and letting them know that we are here to enhance their lives every second, every minute, every hour of every day. And we do that with respect, dignity, and worth. Wow. It, talk about the importance of independence and community involvement dealing with people with, with these developmental disabilities. Absolutely. So I, for us, when we look at those that we serve, the population that we serve, oftentimes the community doesn't understand the importance of them being able to live in a least restricted mm -hmm. environment. If you go back to previous years, many of our population were residing in institutions, um, asylums, because um, the community didn't quite understand uh, exactly what their needs are and how to meet those needs. So when you come to our population, this particular funding that is presented through state legislature. Um, it is now an opportunity to say for those that are in our community that have these disabilities now can live in a least restrictive environment. It is us saying to them, you are just like us. Regardless of your disability, you have the opportunity to live in your own home. You have the opportunity to have a staff that can work with you while you're in your home to again gain those skills and those uh, capabilities that the rest of us have and we're just going to kind of move them towards yeah. that um, with, with some assistance. And the first big step is finding out what the issue is, right? Absolutely. Finding the service that can help you out and live a life and live within a community. Absolutely. So of course all of them are diagnosed before the age of 18. That's one of the criteria. Okay. They also have an uh, a IQ that's less than 75 and that is what uh, allows them to receive these particular services. This funding comes, so again, they have the ability to live on their own. Um, they have the ability to be out in the community just like the rest of us. And so it is imperative and important to look at their skill set and what those services are. That could be um, any type of nursing, that could be occupational therapy, that could be physical therapy, um, that could uh, range from uh, living on their own or living in a group home. Wow or either living um, with a family member also, which we uh, consider host homes, or someone else that's hosting the home that's not a family member. Unless you could talk about the, uh, and discuss the heaviness being uh, needed that extending service. You have some people that have dual a diagnosis. Talk about that and then, and then the services that you guys provide. With that. Absolutely. We have some individuals that um, have an intellectual disability, but they also have a mental health disability. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, uh, because the community doesn't quite understand it, we're not always set in a position of being able to render the service for that mental health piece. And sometimes they fall by the wayside because we are here to, uh, again, work with those who have intellectual disabilities, but we also need those who partner with us to help them with that mental health issue as well because when you have someone who's dual, di dual diagnosed you're talking about a person with an IQ that is 75 or below but they also have these issues with understanding their mental capacity also and they don't have the ability to process all things so we are really in need of those in our community that work with that particular population as well to assist us in that capacity again so that they can have a fulfilled life. And our thanks again to Ms. Lashika Mayberry for coming in and talking with us. Family of Faith Service Providers is a nonprofit organization. Mayberry also wants to shine a light on their LSS Learning Center. Those in that program learn some critical skills like hygiene, social interaction, and just daily living skills. You can go to our website a little bit later this morning, NBCDFW.com, for more information on the services that they provide.